I want to do a quick video on the Surface Pro X. I got the SQ2 version. Um, I did pick this up pretty cheap online eBay. Uh, show you what I'm running here. Um, it's SQ2, 16 gigs of RAM. I got a 512 gig storage. I'm on one, uh, Windows 11 Pro. Um, I know people were having issues getting that updated to 11 Pro. So pretty much what I did was um, updated, went to the system update portion, uh, make sure I updated as much as I possibly can. Just update, update, update. I have an update now. I got to restart. But um, while my Windows, you know, starts at Windows 10 Pro, after I updated, do a restart right here. I mean, reset PC. You reset the PC to local. Um, let it run its course and when it comes up Windows 11 Pro uh, came up for me downloaded that of course with that portion is a big deal because you are able to run Android apps um, with their with the Amazon Play Store uh, App Store uh, which is you'll just search in here and just check Amazon App Store now you also have an option which I'll leave a link in the description to sideload some APKs um, so I was able to go ahead and do that as well um, this comes with that portion. Once you're able to silo ABKs, you can download most, pretty much every Android app. I have a uh, Flipboard here. You see that runs, no issues. Um, as you can see, it's fast, responsive. Um, so you, you Flipboard, um, have um, uh, a few apps there. That's there for you, Apple Music. See how fast that comes up. Um, everything plays. So no issues with that at all. Um, but that, that gives you that option there. When you sign load, you can sign load all apps. Only apps that are having issues with, of course, is Google, which because you don't have the framework. So for instance, the Google Play Store uh, won't launch uh, because I don't have the framework for it. YouTube, so you still have to use the um, the browser for YouTube, which is not a big deal. I mean, I don't, you know, you have the browser experience for YouTube, so it's not a big deal. Um, otherwise, um, everything else is good. With that update, um, as you can see, everything runs fine on it. Um, here is the site right here that I'll leave in the description here how to install the APKs on here. You know, pretty simple instructions to show you how to do it. You'll get the App Store first um, and then walk you through the whole process here. You don't have to worry about rooting or any of that nonsense. And uh, then you just go to the APK section and um, any APK, usually I use the APK mirror and search for what you want, click on it. Um, make sure what I found out, make sure it's not this, don't click the bundle, make sure it's just APK. So you click on the APK version and then download APK. It'll download here. When you click the install, it'll come up here to install it, and then you just launch it. So pretty simple. Otherwise, um, um, enjoying the app, uh, enjoying the uh, the machine. Everything's good. Battery life's good on it. Standby time because it is an arm, like your phone. Don't have any issues. It's fast. I mean, um, multitasking is good. Uh, for instance, you can, you know, pick that, do something like this. So let's see, multitasking is really well. I have no issues with that. Um, yeah, so just a quick run through on um, how that works on the um, Surface Pro X SQ2.